Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Make Me Ramble. Um, I don't know how long this is going to last, but it's basically just a bit of an update as to uh, what's been going on recently. Um, yeah, there's been quite, and there's been a bit of an absence of videos uh, coming from me recently. And that's because I actually got a new job. Um, I've had it for a, for a couple of weeks, and I'm basically fixing computers. But the hours are really, really shitty. So it's in case whenever I get in from work, I am always knackered. Uh, also, the money hasn't started coming through yet, so I'm still kind of waiting. Up to build up a bit of um, a bit more of a uh, disposable income in order to get some more kind of like um, model kits and stuff like that. Uh, in regards to model kits and stuff, um, I think I'm possibly going to be slowing down on the. One second, I need to make some room for me for me elbow. I think, for, in regards to model kits, I think I'm going to be slowing down on some of the Mechanicum stuff. Although, there is some new um, Forge World Mechanicum stuff which is coming out, which looks absolutely incredible. Uh, the Tagmata, blah, 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 whatever it is, it, it's really, really cool. It's got these cool little servo drones and stuff, and it just looks really, really sick and proper, proper dark, and he's all hunched. Like the Horus Heresy version of the uh, Tech Priest Engine Seer, which is pretty cool. So I think I'll be getting some of that. Um, unless they bring out something mega new, I've kind of got everything that I want. Um, uh, for the army, I prefer the Skatari lists, to be honest. Um, I just prefer lots of foot troops and stuff, but uh, what I might do, I might get some um, of the, 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 the Cataphractian destroyers, you know, the, the servitors and the big tracks. I might get a few boxes of those one time. But um, basically, I'm going to be um, giving uh, the Mechanicum stuff a little break for a little while. Um, you might see, perhaps, if I can sit down and find the time to do some sculpting, some more Nurgle stuff coming out. But one of the things that I've been toying with the idea of doing is actually an Orc Dreadmob army because I have been told that the kits for like the Killer Cans and the Dreadnoughts and stuff like that, they are absolutely lovely to build. They're just really, really nice kits and it's something that I've wanted to have the pleasure of doing for a long, long time. So I think I'm doing an Orc Dreadmob army. Nothing mega, maybe a couple of, there may be about 1,500, 2,000 points or something, but just sticking with Orc mechs. So, Kill Cans, Dreadnoughts, Mega Dreads, Mecha Dreads, um, Morkonauts, um, maybe some tanks and stuff, maybe some looted wagons or some Grot tanks would be cool. Um, I'm going to have to go further afield to get those, though, because they're quite expensive in the Forge World site. But I'm thinking of doing some, some Orc stuff, because it also gives me a really good chance of messing about with some metal techniques and some rusts and also Vallejo are coming out soon with a new range of metal airbrush paints as well which is going to be really really cool really really nice to get my hands on them but it all is waiting on me getting a bit more disposable income from this job as I said I've only been doing it a couple of weeks now so I got paid for my first week and my boss was kind enough to do that and um, just basically to, to, to tie me through and um, yeah so I've got other things to buy and stuff like that and I think I might give this whole messy room a bit of a tidy it's really really big mess um, but yeah, so other, in, other, in other news, what has been going on? Um, let me think. Uh, n nothing much really has been uh, going on in, in, in the life. Uh, but in regards to the hobby and stuff, uh, I'll, be, I'll be completely honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of getting sick of seeing um, the Age of Sigma Sigmarines. <laughs> I really am getting fucking sick of him. Um, I, I've, it's taken me a long time to decide this. But I'm not a fan. I, I I like the chaos stuff, and I know a lot of people don't like the chaos. So I prefer the chaosy side of stuff because they just look more detailed and they look like you can do more stuff with them. But the, I don't know, just some of the kits. Like there's a new kit that's come out recently, very very recently, which is like a he's like got big wings and he's you know his, his wings are out like that. And he's got this big fucking spirally thing going around him, and that's just gonna be a fucking nightmare to paint and. It really does look like something from a Saturday morning kids cartoon. It, it just doesn't look, it just doesn't, I just don't like it. It just looks very, very basic. Um, very, very, very easy to paint by the looks of it. And I'm, I'm just not a fan. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy at the moment now that the kind of whole Rage of Sigma wars have kind of like, um, you know, uh, died down because, uh, to be honest, I was getting fucking sick and tired of it. I just couldn't be arsed listening to people go, oh, it's so fucking shit. I couldn't be arsed with that at all. So I'm happy that's kind of gone. Um, trying to think of anything else. Like I said, this, I've not been like, really doing that much. Oh, 
Busts, haha, <laughs> yes. Um, I've actually ordered um, a Noctu from uh, Savage Void Minis. Uh, you, you, if you guys saw my It's a Bust video, I did the a Small Alien Bust that um, Dennis from Savage Forge did. Uh, I managed to get hold of one of those from Spud and Paint Up, and it was really, really fun to paint. Although it was super awkward to try and do the speed painting bit, and I'm not decided whether or not I'm going to do a speed painting section on the Noctu bust and just. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I might do. If I can, because the thing is, guys, when I'm hunched down over that desk, it's really hard to number one keep the um the the the, the bust in shot, and number two, it's hard to get into the details. So I can kind of it's fucking fruit flies and shit up here. The whole area is infested with fruit flies this time of year. It's fucking stupidly annoying. Um, but yeah, so it's really awkward for me to paint um uh, something that big as well because it requires me to actually hold it. You know, a little bit better, and the Noctu bust is, is bigger than the Alien bust. Apparently, uh, I'm gonna like I'm gonna pick him up today from post office. So after I've recorded this video and popped it on render, I might actually go out and do that. But um, there's gonna be more bust videos coming, hopefully, because they're just fun to paint, and I, and I like doing them. You know, I don't have to set myself a goal of painting X amount of miniatures or whatever. They're, they're just nice and I can paint them, I can paint one thing in just an evening and it, it's really, really good. And it gives me a chance to try out using paints, techniques and, and you know, other colour schemes that I normally wouldn't because they're aliens and they can be whatever colour pretty much. Um, I really don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna paint the Knock 2 bust. Um, I might, I'm thinking maybe red or maybe give him like brown skin and red armour. I, I don't know, I really don't know. I was gonna make him grey. Can't do green because I've done the green one before. For. Uh, he's quite. He looks a bit like a potato. <laughs> so I might give him like an earthy tone, maybe like an earthy kind of green or something. I just don't know. It'll basically be whatever colours take my eye. Um, I'll probably. I might even do his armour first. I might do his armour just like really, really fucking knackered and rusty and things, um, just to see what kind of colours that would go with. Um, but other than that, I'm really, I'm not sure. Um, other stuff. Other stuff. I'm just looking around. Um, oh yeah, the um, I said some things that I, if you guys have watched my um, last mechanic video, you'll want to see this. Uh, remember this drone walker? So cool. I, I you know, it, it was really really nice of um, of uh, <laughs> Ramtrackle Games. Why did it take me so long to re to remember that? I just don't know. <laughs> it was really nice Ramtrackle Games to send me a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've actually got another thing. I've got a Reebok tank as well, and that's actually downstairs. Um, in fact, let's just be good downstairs. Let's, let's, let's take you guys downstairs because I really need a, a cup of tea. I've only just woken up. As you guys can tell by the fucking cra crazy, messy hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Um, I'm also just wearing pajamas as well, so. Not pajama pants. Um, but yeah, so let's go downstairs, make a cup of tea because I'm thirsty. Like I said, I just woke up. Gonna go to the post office in a bit, pick up Nox. It was really good the other day because it came and. Uh, basically, I uh, it came on the first Thursday, and I just got the um, the slip, and I didn't realise that you know you have to wait a day. I didn't read the slip because I'm an idiot. So I went to the post office and looked for ages. Like I oh, can't find it. And they're like, oh yeah, look, this is it. Oh, my kitchen is such a fucking mess. I don't even. I need, I need to clear some space. I can't even put you down, guys. There's just shit. Fucking everyone. Fucking fruit flies. Ah. Anyone, if anyone knows or has any tips to getting rid of fruit flies from their home, please let me know. I was going to oh, I need to go upstairs and get my fucking cup. Fuck's sake. Um, if anyone has any tips to get rid of fruit flies from their home, please let me know because they're, they're a fucking menace. They take the piss, it's stupid. Oh, my days. Yeah, I've got to get to the post office before 12 o'clock, I think, today. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get it until Tuesday. It's going to really annoy me because I, I think I'll probably paint and video it on the bank holiday. Let's just check. No. No messages. Um, there's, me, there's, me, there's me cup. There's me cup. I love tea. That looks really weird in reverse because I'm looking at it on the camera screen, obviously. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm looking forward to doing more busts. I like busts, they're just cool. Um, but the only thing is, I really, really like. Let's see if I can set you down here. Can I set you down? No, um, no. I just, oh god, there's just so much shit everywhere. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, but yeah, so um, I just I just love doing the busts. Um, I never I never thought that I would ever paint um, a bust. Uh, I always thought to myself, nah, there's, there's, there's no point, you know, you don't do anything with them, blah, 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 blah. But on hindsight, they're really, really nice to paint. 
and they're just really nice to just chill and just, just experiment with and have some ideas and stuff like that. Because like so as I was doing the uh, the alien bust, I was just painting him. And obviously, I made I made a massive mistake first thing because I didn't really know what I was doing. And I think one of the important things is to plan, to plan out what you're gonna do. N not fully, but just like have an idea of what kind of colours and what bits you want coloured what. Because that was the whole thing with me. Because I, I didn't know what colours I wanted. I started doing greens, then I started doing fucking blues, then reds, and it just looked like a fucking horrific Christmas ornament. It was just shit. It really, really pissed me off. Why am I getting a spoon? I've got a spoon here. Ha ha. Uh, but yeah. Um. So there's, yeah, this is the, going back to the, the mechanic and thing, yeah, I'm just, I feel that I've got most of what I want and I feel that at the moment I've got a pretty effective uh, force uh, for a thousand points. Um, I think that what I might do for 1,500 point games is add those cataphracty destroyers because they are just nasty and if I add 500 points worth of them, I think I might be able to get two units of, no, three units of three. Which will be really, really good. Have the destroyers and the breaches. Because the breaches have, um, what should we call it, cannons, uh, art cannons. Um, and they're just fucking devastating against vehicles. There's, it's like D3. You know, it's, like, it's, like, it's like heavy three haywire hits. So if, if you know, if if six of them are getting through, so that's all of six, nine, ten, that's 12 shots. Any vehicle is dead, pretty much. Because it's going to, like, because it has haywire, so it's going to, like, auto penetrate. Or whatever, I don't know. But basically, it's going to be really effective against vehicles. And then you got the fucking grav cannon ones, which are really good. Might have a full squad of them. They're awesome. When did this mill go out? 29th of August. We're, we're good. We're good for now. We're good. And welcome to the Arts of Tea Making, featuring the great Jojo Man. Oh, spilled a bit then. You silly fuck. Um. Yeah, so I'm putting, putting this Qatari away for a little bit. Because oh. I feel... Uh, uh, it's, it's weird, right? Because every time I try and do an army, I always tend to try and do the thing that they're not good at. But every time I, I have an opponent... Right? So, basically, Mechanicum, they're a shooty army. But every time I use Mechanicum, they always get in close combat. And I don't know whether that's something because I always fight... Um, I hope because I always fight armies that um, that are close combat orientated. Like whenever we play uh, Andy Two D Sixes, it's always, always, always fucking Dark Angels, and then the fucking stupid fucking Dark Angels, the Deathwing formation, where they have um, the, all the fucking Terminators and stuff, and it's just so annoying because nothing can kill them. Um, nothing. Well, none of my guys can hurt them unless you know they get they get shot at. Uh, it's just a load of bollocks. So with the whole orc army, it'd be nice to have something that can actually just fucking rush up in front and just fucking pound face. It'd be nice to do. Uh, plus, I've not had a. Uh, the fuck is that? That's a little bead. Um, I've not had um, a, a really close combat orientated army since since Space Wolves, really. Um, and orcs obviously are mega close combat. And if we get loads of killer cans and loads of dreads, like I'm, I'm thinking. Because uh, the list is published online for the PDF to download. I'm thinking Mecha Dread. Uh, I'm thinking Big Mech. So give you know custom force will give it fix you know everyone around fixing stuff. I'm thinking um, three because uh, no two um, two Death Dreads because you can use Death Dreads as troops in the Dread mob list. So that way I've got my two troops in the HQ. And for some reason, killer counter class is fast attack. But I think I'm going to have two units of five killer cans, perhaps. Um, and then maybe... Uh, in fact, I might have another death drip. I don't know. I just, I just really want to get some good orky kits and just have a really good kit bash and just mess about with stuff. Um, like I say, I, I just, I, I've got, I, I've got a, a kind of vision of what I want. Um, and it's a case of, I just want to be to be like a sea of rust, basically. A sea of clanking, fucking, killy, rusty death coming towards the enemy. 
Um, also, this, uh, there's another reason for doing the, the Orc Dread mob list, it's because it's going to actually be my third Armies on Parade entry. Um, as I said before guys, there's, my local GW is doing two Armies on Parade this year. They've already done one, and I won gold with my Mechanicum stuff. They're doing another one in October, I'm going to enter my Nurgle stuff, um, so hopefully I'll come back with a medal then. Although it's not the winning that it's all about, it's about the taking part. And you know what, it is about the taking part. As long as my stuff inspires someone, I, I, I class that as a gold medal anyway. Um, but, it, but it is nice to get a gold medal, you know. It is nice. But anyway, um, so that's going to be the, the second. And I, like to, I, want, I want to get um, three, um, three medals in, in total. And I'll be happy then. It should be nice to go, yeah, I, I placed... I placed one to you know one to three in 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 um, armies on parade three years in a row. It would just be really really cool to be able to say that. So the third entry is going to be next year, so next October. So I've got a shitload. Of time. I've got a whole year practically. Uh, oh, it's just September. I'm not sure. August? No, it's October. I'm sure it's October. So I've got a whole year essentially to prepare these or this orc army. And one of the things that I tried to do as well, I tried. Remember that big, that massive, that massive. Fuck off or claim mega fortress that I made out of the Bane Blade and the Bastion. Well, I tried to sell that and no one wanted it. I think it's just it's just too big. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to finish painting that. Uh, Sp uh, Spud Tate actually had it for ages. He had it for months and I had it for like eight months or something. And he was painting it for me. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish that off and that's going to be the centerpiece for my Dread Mob Army. Uh, I might have a load of grots as well because I do like grots and they are easier to paint than orcs for thank fuck for that. The thing is, the reason why, and again, I'm doing it because I've had a lot of people come to me and say, Oh Jojo man, if you do an orc, I need boys, you need lots of boys, that's the way you do it, get a load of more boys in there, yeah, yeah, go for it. And it's like, no, 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 I can't be fucked doing that. I can't be asked painting all the, it's not the skin, it's not the skin that winds me up, it's all the little straps and the little fucking fiddly bits because the orc, as, as a miniature itself, is really annoying to paint once you put it on the base because you've got to get underneath its legs and round the side under its arms and things. It's just, oh, it's a pain in the ass to actually do. Um, so yeah, I'm going uh, gonna, I'm gonna to do that. So that's why I'm just doing um, a dread mob army because it means I have to paint minimal, minimal orc, or, 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 you know, orc boys and actual orc miniatures. I'm thinking for my mech, I might try and get hold of... Do anyone remember that big massive um, orc robot, that orc... Um, Rusbot thing with a little Gretchen on its shoulder with a controller. I might try and get that and use that as um, maybe replace his head with an actual war boss head and you know, make sure he's like, you know, completely cybernetic from the neck down. Um, so I might have him as like my big mech or something. That'll be really, really cool. But yeah, so that's just, just, just spitballing ideas, really. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's, that's pretty much me. I've rambled on for 70 minutes. Um, so yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. Oh, and also, I'd just like, before I go, uh, I just like to thank all the new subscribers that I've got. Um, hi, <laughs> yeah, uh, brilliant, happy days. Um, finally, hit gone past the one thousand six hundred mark, which is really, really good. Like I said, I do apologise for the lack of content. It's just I'm so tired when I get in from work and stuff. It's just ridiculous. Like, thank fuck, it's a bank holiday weekend, you know. Thank fuck for that. Um, but yeah, guys. So the content is coming out slowly. Oh, there's another thing as well. Oh my god, this thing really fucking annoyed me. Um, right. So basically, I use Sony Vegas to do my editing with. And uh, my PC is pretty good. I think I've talked about my PC before. It's it's a pretty beasty PC. I mean, it's it's got 16 gig of Corsair Vengeance RAM. It's got a terabyte. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a terabyte. I can't remember what, but it's like one of the really high RPM, high speed um, SATA 2 hard drives. Uh, it's a um, AMD Phenom 2 six core processor. And the graphics card is an AMD, not an AMD. Is a GeForce um, 980, um, an EVGA one. So it's a pretty beasty PC, so it can run it, it can handle it no problem. But one of the things that I do find with Sony Vegas, I don't know whether it's because I have it, you know, the copy that I have is a <laughs> copy, you know, a black copy. Um, but basically, I, I, I went on it and I was trying to render a video and I hadn't changed anything, so I thought. In the end, it was uh, I think it was the, the change in my graphics card that that, that made it done goof. Um, but you know, I hadn't changed anything. The thing is, I'd rendered a video with the new graphics card like a week before, and I went on rendered, and it was just like, oh okay, um, got all that, did all that, and then it got to one percent, and then froze, just fucking upright frozen. And I was like, what the fuck? 
So I was like, right, okay, maybe, maybe, it's just, maybe it's just bugged out. So restart Vegas, remake the video again. Luckily, it was only a simple video. If it was like a complicated video of all different layers and stuff, would have been well pissed off. Uh, so I made it all again, and uh, yeah, it still didn't work. Didn't even get to one percent, and it just froze. Like I'm, I'm not talking about the the, the the program froze. Like the the actual um, render, you get a little box like that pops up, and the whole render thing freezes, and then the preview window in the background just freezes as well. And you can tell if it's still working, even if it's going slow, because that preview window in the background is still showing you frames, you know, bit by bit. But this is just frozen. I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I tried the usual fixes. I tried turning um, dual GPU CPU rendering off. I tried and um, changed the dynamic RAM preview down low. And eventually I turned the dynamic RAM preview off just to try and get it to work. Um, I tried doing all sorts of little tweaks that I know were in the past and nothing would have it. And I got really, really pissed off. And I booted my PC. I kicked that fucker so hard. Just, Fuck off, you cunt. And that just fucking belted it one. And my PC restarted. Uh, and it was fine. You know, I was thinking to myself, oh, here we go, oh, fuck this, I'm going to have to buy a new PC now. This is when I, this was before I started my new job properly, so I was a bit fucked off. But anyway, reset, Tony Vegas came back on, my project loaded up, happy days, it was there, it was fine, I was like, that's weird. And then I went to render, and there was no fucking render profile, so I was like, what the actual fuck is going on? So the render profiles in Tony Vegas is what you pick from, depending on which, so what you want to render your video, there was none there, the list was gone. Just completely gone. My custom ones that I made for YouTube were gone. The preset ones there from Sony Vegas were gone. And I was like, oh, fuck. So I went looking on my computer and they just gone. They just fucking vanished. And I ne I just could not find them. So, fucking Muggins here had to remaster his entire PC. Um, and that was that was the whole thing. Because I, oh, it was just so annoying. Because, like... I saved, like, you know, basically, it was due for a remaster anyway. I only, after, out of my terabyte hard drive, I only had something like fucking, like, 40 gig left. So it needs to be remastered anyway, because it was full of, like, junk videos and junk, like, you know, clips and stuff. Um, sadly, I've lost a lot of footage that I was planning to do stuff with, but hey-ho. Luckily, I saved my um, intros, so that was, that was the big thing, because those intros, um, it would be obvious if I changed them. You know, and trying to pass them off as, as, as the same ones. So I'd have to, like, completely scrap the series that I'm doing, which uh, I wouldn't have liked to do. Um, but, yeah, so that was the whole thing. That, that's, that's just fucking stupid. Like, why why did Sony Vegas decide to just go and fucking shit itself? Um, there was just no reason for it. Um, and, yeah, so I had to realize, so it took ages to do that, obviously, with working and stuff as well. But it is nice. Out. It's really pretty smooth. Um, but, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. As well, guys, I um, that's a, that's a random little tangent of a story about how I fucking abuse PCs, uh, considering I now fix them as a job. But anyway, so uh, thank you for the new subscribers and uh, thank you for watching. And um, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if it's the first time you've seen this. And uh, also, uh, don't forget to share as well. Sharing is caring, after all, and it helps me reach a wider audience. Also, don't forget to go to the Facebook group. It's in the link link in the doobly doo down below. Um, that will give you sneak peeks of little bits that I'm doing, little insights into what is going on in um, on the channel and stuff before it comes out on video. And it's a way of interacting with me outside of YouTube. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.